Hey, good morning friends, welcome back. Today is Good Friday in the Holy Week. And actually you could call it Bad Friday, because Bad Friday, uh, it's the day where Jesus dies. It's not so, so nice. It's the day where Jesus is arrested in the night, tortured, put to trial, crucified, till he dies. So it's Bad Friday in some way, but at the same time it's Good Friday, because we believe that his death brings us life. And today all over the world there will be services, uh, I think in the evening, whether online or uh, in person maybe at some parts of the world. I want to remind you that tonight you're invited to join a virtual tour of the Garden Tomb and of Jerusalem with our tour guide Omer. Omer is a professional tour guide in Israel, Jerusalem and the Garden Tomb. And he will be showing us around virtually on the events and the places where these events took place. For now, um, I want to think with you about what happened on Good Friday, just before Jesus died, during the trial. Jesus had a very interesting conversation with Pilate. So let us read. This time we are going away from Mark and opening up the Bible in the book of John, John chapter 18, and we will read from verse 33. Pilate went back inside the palace, summoned Jesus, and asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Is that your own idea, Jesus asked, or did others talk to you about me? Am I a Jew? Pilate replied. Your own people and chief priests handed you over to me. What is it you have done? Jesus said, My kingdom is not of this world. If it were, my servants would fight to prevent my arrest by the Jewish leaders. But now my kingdom is from another place. You are a king then, said Pilate. Jesus answered, You say that I am a king. In fact, the reason I was born and came into the world is to testify to the truth. Everyone on the side of truth listens to me. What is truth? retorted Pilate. With this he went out again to the Jews gathered there and said, I find no basis for a charge against him. Jesus is being put to, to trial. He has been brought to the Jewish leader, uh, leaders earlier, to the high priest, to the Sanhedrin. They want to kill Jesus, but they can't execute uh, this. So they bring him to the Roman governors. They bring him to Pilate in this case. And Pilate is asking Jesus, you know, who are you? What has happened? Why are you here? And I've been told that you're a king. And it's interesting how Jesus reacts. He says, yes, I am a king. I mean, he doesn't say directly, yes, I am a king. But he agrees. And he says, well, you say I am a king. But my kingdom is not of this world. So if he is a kingdom, then he is king. But not of an earthly kingdom, but of a spiritual kingdom. Jesus brings about another kingdom. The kingdom of God. But what is very interesting to me is verse 37. Where Jesus speaks the following words. He says, The reason I was born and came into the world is to testify to the truth. Everyone on the side of truth listens to me. Jesus says that he came into the world to testify to the truth. You might be thinking, what kind of truth is Jesus referring to? Well, we're not sure exactly, but there's lots of truth you can think about. The truth about the state of the world, the state of mankind, the truth about you and I and our hearts, and our sins, the truth about God and how God wants to be served, the truth about God's love for His people, the truth about salvation in Jesus Christ, because Jesus Himself said that He is the way, the truth, and the life, and that no one can come to the Father except through Him. So Jesus came to testify to the truth, but He also is the truth. And Pilate kind of cynically says, you know, what is truth? And he keeps on going. And he continues, and in, in the end he washes his hands in innocence, but he lets Jesus 
being put to the cross and he allows him to die. What is truth? Many of us are searching for truth these days. There's lots of untruth, lots of lie, lots of fake and fake news. Jesus wants to bring truth into your life. And sometimes the truth is challenging and difficult and hard. And sometimes the truth about ourselves is not nice to face and is confronting. Because I think the truth is that you and I are broken people. People with mistakes, with failures, with secrets, with sins. But the truth also is that God is a forgiving God. And that God sent His Son into the world to die. So that everyone who believes in Him will not perish but have eternal life. The truth is that Jesus died on Good Friday. That He was hanging on the cross. That He was bearing the sins of the world, the sins of you and I. That the wrath of God and the anger of God was on Him. But by His stripes were healed. And His death brings life. Today, allow God, allow Jesus to speak truth into your life about yourself and about God, about your sinful state and about your new state in Christ. Because if you're in Christ, you are called God's son and God's daughter, and your sins have been wiped clean. That's also the truth. That's a beautiful truth. And with that truth in mind, we can really say that this Friday is a good Friday. Now I want to remind you that tonight we will have a special meeting online where we will look into Jerusalem. We will get a virtual tour of the city of Jerusalem and see the historical places where all this happened. We have Omer who is our friend and professional tour guide. He is a tour guide in Israel, Jerusalem, and especially in the Garden Tomb. He's been there very many times. He knows the places. And he will be guiding us and explaining to us some more background information about Jewish culture, as well as just the geographical and historical places. If you are interested, then uh, read the details below this video, because you need to acquire a password to be able to join the Zoom call. But um, I look forward to it. It's going to be interesting. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you tonight at the Zoom call in, in Jerusalem. Virtually. And then we'll see you again tomorrow. Stay blessed. Have a good Friday. Bye-bye.